and welcome to Connecting Hawaii Business on a Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kathleen Lee, and I am your host for this program. Today, I am excited to introduce my friend and someone who I told her is very humble about her accomplishments, Bianca Mortesini. She is the Senior Director of Alumni and External Relations for the Scheidler College of Business. And today, we are going to start off talking about the YP, the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii, YP program in which she serves as chair of the steering committee. Bianca, welcome to the program. Hi, Kat. So good to see you. Thanks for having me. And you're very sweet. Yeah, and I'm glad that you are on the show. And um, I mentioned that you I've always admired you for your humility. So I want to let the viewers know that I believe Bianca is the perfect person to talk about women empowerment. So in 2021, she was named as one of Pacific Business News 40 Under 40 awardees. And this year, she is also one of the Women Who Mean Business um, awardees as well. So congratulations on those accomplishments, Bianca. Thank you so much, Kat. It's uh, funny because I didn't nominate myself, so it was a little bit of a shocker, but thank you. Of course. So uh, aside from that wonderful intro about you, I'm really just stating what you've accomplished. Tell our viewers about yourself. Uh, so I guess to sum it up, um, I'm currently at the Scheibler College of Business. I've been here since 2017. Um, I do our alumni relations, external relations, so that encompasses anything that happens with large events, our fundraisers, um, our website, social media, um, any copy that goes out marketing. So it's really fun, as well as all of the alumni advancement trips that we do. And then I've been involved with the Young Professionals Program um, basically when I joined the chamber um, as an employee there formerly in 2013. And um, when I moved on, basically they would not let me leave. So I'm still here um, almost 10 plus years later, which makes me feel old. Um, and now I'm currently serving as chair for this year. Um, beyond that, I have a one and a half year old plus son. I always forget how many months because after the first year, the months seem kind of crazy for me to count, but um, yeah, and it's been fun being a new mom and trying to balance all the things, but so far so good. That is wonderful. And I want to let anyone and everyone who's watching out there, they did meet Bianca through the Young Professionals Program, and it has been a great connection since then. So thank you for that. For those who don't know, could you describe what the Young Professionals Program of the Chamber is? Sure. So the Young Professionals Program um, is for anyone between the ages of 21 to 39. And essentially, our mission is to build a platform for young professionals to level up in their careers, um, be able to receive mentorship, connect with other like-minded leaders, as well as connect with um, business professionals. So we do have a lot of signature events and programs that are specific to connecting YPs with people in the business community related to both civic engagement, um, ways to just level up in your career. Um, some of the topics include how to advocate for yourself, um, how to be an entrepreneur or, and an entrepreneur, um, and the list goes on and on. We have about 25 plus programs a year, sometimes more. Um, and the YP program is made up of 100% volunteers um, beyond our executive director, Trisha, Trisha Fatui, and our coordinator, but everyone who serves otherwise is 100% volunteer driven. So it's really great to see the program thrive and expand and grow and be able to offer new programs um, as we are moving on into you know the next generation and you know being around for more than 10 plus years. It has been a while, definitely. And I know um, uh, for myself, it has brought me the best connections, including you. So I'm thankful for that. With that being said, um, in your opinion, what has the what benefits have the YP program has the YP program brought to you? Um, so personally and professionally speaking, um, I was part of one of the first mentor groups. So we have a signature program called Mentor Hawaii. Um, they are now in their ninth cohort, which is amazing. Um, I was one of, I guess, the test beta. Uh, mentees and my mentor at the time uh, was Marty Welch, who was with Hemic. Um, I'm still in touch with him to this day. And it was interesting because once I completed the program, um, I had actually received the potential job opportunity to join Scheidler. And he was literally on speed dial for me to really just talk through 
um, the pros and cons and figure out, you know, is this a good choice? And it was just really awesome to have that support from a mentor and just be able to connect with somebody so close to really walk you through the process. Um, beyond that, I would just say the level of camaraderie um, between the wide peers, as you might know, Kat, has been amazing. Um, I have made some of my very best friends through the program. Um, in addition to that, um, everyone is just extremely engaged. Um, all of our volunteers really want to do more. They all want to do bigger, do more, have more programs, which is amazing. Um, and I guess lastly, um, it's funny because this position came up for me because I was connected to uh, the former executive director of this advancement program, and she basically recruited me through the YP program. So, I mean, there's plenty of benefits, um, but for me, I guess the personal connections that I've fostered uh, business and professionally have been um, the biggest thing that, you know, keeps me really engaged and a huge supporter of the program. I think that is so wonderful. Uh, and, and to remind people how important networking is and establishing genuine connections with organizations is, is great. So thank you for that. You mentioned earlier that the steering committee um, is made up of volunteers. What made you decide to take on the helm of the YP steering committee? Oh, that's a great question. Well, it's kind of funny because I have to give a shout out to Kim uh, Kanipa Morris. Um, I was supposed to take on the chair role a year ago. And because I was very pregnant at the time and I was like, I can't do this with a newborn, she served for two terms. Um, so that was wonderful. But I think it's really the people that make the program worthwhile. Again, everyone here, they're from diverse industries. Um, they all care about Hawaii. And, you know, we recently launched two signature programs, including the Wahine program, um, which is really meant for women empowerment and teaching women how to advocate for themselves, how to navigate through life changes like having a baby and what to do after. Um, as well as civic engagement. So um, I have to give a huge, huge kudos and shout out to the steering committee for launching these programs. Um, civic engagement is also meant to get YPs engaged in issues happening in Hawaii. So that might include the cost of housing, the cost of living. Um, we recently had a summit and in that summit, there were you know over 20 plus legislators invited. And I've never had that opportunity to really sit down with the legislator and really have them genuinely ask you, so what do you think about this? Or what are things that are ish, you know facing young professionals? And just to have that open forum um, is really an opportunity that's incredibly unique. So it's the network, it's the programming. Um, for me, it's also the mentorship and getting to know these other business executives. Um, in addition, everyone is just very, very, they're gung-ho to keep moving forward. And I think we're really trying to make an impact to better the lives of people here and hopefully, you know, relieve some of the brain drain of people leaving Hawaii because the cost of living or there's not as many opportunities as the mainland. So how did the Wahine Committee come about? Good question. So there were a few iterations of the Wahine Committee, um, but in essence, we did a survey maybe about two or three years ago. And one of the biggest things that we saw in the survey was that women that were part of the program just didn't feel like they had the right tools and resources for life changes. So that could range from, you know, how to negotiate a higher salary for yourself, how to have uncomfortable conversations about these things, and then also how to work with your employer when you're facing life changes, such as having a new baby and figuring out what type of, um, things that you can do to work with your employer for scheduling. Um, so the committee themselves launched maybe about two years ago. And since then, they have a huge number of signature programs, which are almost always sold out. Um, so it's great to see the community come together as well as the demand for this type of programming. I think that is awesome. I, I get asked this whenever, um, and I ask it as well, whenever there is like a gender specific type of organization, is it just for women or are like YP members who aren't men or identify as men allowed to join as well? Yes. So basically the Wahine programming is specifically, um, the issues are surrounding women. So we might have a panel of women leaders to talk about negotiations or advocating for higher salary. 
but anybody is invited to join. So we have had quite a few males join us, um, and I think that they find it very enlightening, and it's great to see them, you know, participate in the programming with us as well. I think that's great. I brought this up a couple of times already because I think you do a great job at it, and um, you have sort of touched on this earlier. As women, it can be challenging for us to step forward and, and you know, and kind of recognize or claim, like, what we're about. Um, with that being said, like, how do you balance the idea of humility with making sure that you are recognized for what you do, what you can do, and what you can bring to a company? That's a great question. Um, I think personally for me, and I'm just speaking from my own experience, um, unfortunately, I've had a lot of not so great bosses, and they happen to be females. Um, so for me, I think I've always kind of thought back on, you know, 10 plus years ago when I was first starting my career, um, who had shaped me and who made a difference. Don't get me wrong. I had amazing female leaders too, but there were a few not so lovely female leaders, um, who I reported to. And I think, you know, just being able to reflect on that and hopefully shine it through my ethics and what I want to promote in my workplace. Um, has really stood true to me. I also think that um, with some of the younger women in our office, um, I encourage them to join the YP program, to also do their own volunteership, to do leadership roles. Um, so I guess it's a hard balance, but your question about humility, I think one thing that women also have trouble with is learning how to advocate for themselves, but doing so in a way that, you know, we are true to ourselves and maybe we're not being so aggressive in the process. So for me, it's been definitely a learning experience. Um, and I think having coaches to help you through negotiations or how to have difficult conversations and also how to back up whatever you have with factual information um, has definitely helped. So there's quite a few females who I definitely go to for advice when I'm like, hey, I have a really challenging situation. How would you address this? Or what do you think I should do? And we've actually role played it out, um, which sounds odd, but it it is really helpful. So those are the things that I, I recount on. <laughs> yeah, I think role playing actually works very well. Um, you talked about women leaders that you looked up to, and you're one of them now <laughs> with accolades that you've gotten and, you know, mentorship programs that you have, um, like, you know, delved into. What are some lessons that you've learned that you'd like to pass on to individuals who are women, specifically, since we are talking about women empowerment, um, to help them move up, whether in life or their career? Hmm, that's a great question. I think if there was some advice I would give, it would certainly be to find a mentor, whether that's a you know formal program or just somebody who you can speak to who's in a higher role that you know you can confide in and just share things on the daily um another thing i guess i would say is for me and my husband's often told me this he used to tell me you know like you don't have enough confidence like if you if the guy was applying for this position he would definitely ask for like x salary and like you should too um, so I think just knowing your worth, but it's really challenging sometimes to get there, um, but also doing your research. So if you are applying for a new role, like see on, you know, salary, on a salary.com what the role calls for, and maybe just go above that number. Um, the worst thing someone will tell you is no, um, and that's totally fine. I guess in addition, um, having a good circle of friends is really, really key. Um, so I think my friends are not only people that I rely on for personal things and, you know, I can confide in them, but also a lot of my circle, they're, they're also in the business world too. So for me, we can kind of bounce ideas off of each other. We can ask like, hey, what would you do in this situation? Or who would you contact for that? Um, so that's been really helpful. And then especially me being a new mom, um, I rely hugely on my other mom friends who are in the business world and doing all the things. I always ask them like, what would you do? Or who are you using for that? Or what daycare are you using? Can I get their information? So those are sort of some things that I can think of off the top of my head. I love that. Is there anything about anything else about the YP program um, or the Wahine Committee that you would like to share that I have not asked about yet? Uh, there are a number of events happening throughout the year. 
So I would encourage anybody listening or who's interested to look on the website, cochawaii.org, and then click on the YP program to see what's coming up. Um, while the YP program is only for those between the ages of 21 to 39, we do tag team a lot with the chamber to make sure that our programming um, really hits everything that the chamber wants to hit in terms of advocating um, professional development. Um, again, there's a ton of events coming up and I have a list here that I was going to read out, but I won't. Um, but at least every month there's about three events and they range from networking mixers to sit down lunches with executives to professional development classes, which, you know, provide um, a platform for you to talk to a, a leader in their field. Um, so there's plenty of ways to get involved. We also are still looking for members to join us for our steering committee and our volunteer committees. Um, so again, everything is volunteer based and it's a great, great way to meet new people, to bounce ideas off of others, um, especially if you're new to Hawaii. Um, that's what I've heard a lot is I had one of my friends who's actually part of the steering committee she came to Hawaii, she's from here, but she moved back maybe five or six years ago. And so she was just like, this is the best thing that I've done. Um, so I would encourage anybody who wants to learn more, get involved to come to an event, check us out. And then we're happy to chat with you and provide any information that you need. I'm a bit, if not a lot biased towards the YPs because I was part of it for years. How is that program different from other young professional programs that are out there? Are they different or how does it work with other programs? Right. That was also a great question. I think what differentiates us is when um, our programs are really broad and deep, meaning we're not just focused on volunteerism. We're not just focused on cultural aspects. We really kind of hit, in my opinion, all the markers to provide a well-rounded um, education, if you'll say, for a young professional. So we have everything from mentorship, volunteer events, mixers, um, again, the Wahine program, civic engagement. And then there's a bunch of other programs that we offer. For instance, we also mentor um, high schoolers, which is kind of unique. Um, so there's really something for everybody, but it is kind of like a gym membership. I hate to use that terminology, but it is, right? So the more you go, the more you engage, the more you attend things, the more you raise your hand and say, I'd like to learn more and I want to join a committee, um, really the more you'll get out of it. Um, I'll also say that this program is the largest program. So we have over 400 young professional members and growing. Um, we do have the support of the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. So I think that allows us to leverage a lot of opportunities with the chamber as well as their executives. And further, I guess I would say that the program is very diverse. So we have members from healthcare, banking services, nonprofits, um, a lot of consultants, people that are remote. Um, it really hits all targets. So you're not gonna meet just one type of industry professional when you come to an event. Um, and lastly, I'll say that most of the steering committee and our members are very, very welcoming. So I hope that people feel really welcome uh, when they do attend some of our events. Thank you for that. I, I want to go back to the whole idea of women empowerment while we still have some few minutes. So um, I know you started out the Wahina Committee. You and the steering committee did that um, because you were addressing a need. What are some challenges that you've heard that women have? Um, so you've mentioned a couple, but what are some challenges that you've heard that you feel you folks can help out with? Um, I guess going back to the survey that we conducted a few years ago, some of the biggest topics that I recall just from memory are how to balance um, work and personal life. Um, so a lot of the YP members, you know, they're in the age range of they're starting their first family, they're getting married, they're having kids. Um, so that was a huge one, how to balance work and family life. And then secondly, um, the biggest thing I can remember is really trying to advocate for yourself as a female in terms of how to negotiate a higher raise or how to have difficult conversations with bosses. Um, so those were the two that really stuck out to me personally and ways that we can help. I think um, all the leaders that the Wahine Committee has put together, they all represent a diverse range of people. So for instance, we've had Marie Kumabe, who was Kumabe HR. Um, we've had Christine Camp of Avalon. Um, and the list goes on and on, but there's been specific takeaways from each person um, that I think has been really helpful. So 
there was a recent event that we had, and they also um, they focused it on on one issue per speaker. So, for instance, one person, I think she was with one of the preschools, um, and her name doesn't come to me right now, but she talked about how to advocate for yourself when you're starting a family. And then another woman had spoken about um, making a career shift in her 40s. So that was really interesting. Um, I think the topics are, you know, we try to always find speakers that match the topics. And, you know, attendees are welcome to come and talk to the um, speakers after too. Which So there is a lot of good networking that happens after. I think that's awesome. With the few minutes that we have left, let's talk about what you do for UH. Sure. So um, I've been with the Scheidler College of Business now since 2017. And um, what we do here is really important work. Um, basically, our office handles all of the alumni relations as well as external relations. Um, but our alumni relations is super important because our alumni, you know, really provide us the path to grow and succeed. So as you know, Scheidler, probably um, everyone knows that name. He donated a huge sum of money and we were able to then rename the college and do a huge amount of initiatives um, thanks to Jay Scheidler. Um, since then, you know, a lot of other alumni have stepped up and provided programming, scholarships, endowments for professors. Um, we also recently re-emerged, or I'm sorry, reintegrated with the Tim School in 2019. So that's been a huge, huge opportunity for us to re-engage with the hospitality community and really provide a lot more support to Tim students um, who are seeking to make that career shift, especially in Hawaii, when that's the largest industry. Um, so we do a lot of things at the college too, lots of events, um, and we're super grateful to all of our alumni who are involved and engaged and continue to give back to us. With the few minutes that we have left, um, let me just go a little bit deeper. Bianca, what is your why? Why do you do what you do? That is a great question. Um, I guess I've also been contemplating this myself. Um, for me, you know, I, the reason why I joined Scheidler is because previously um, I had worked at a luxury hotel. And while it was fun and cool and exciting, and I had all these influencers come in and, you know, do drone footage and things like that, at the end of the day, it didn't fill my cup. Um, so Scheidler has really given me the opportunity to do what I love and to have a lot of diversity, um, you know, to meet people, to impact students. We do so much here that really, when you sit come full circle and you meet the donors and you see the students like at the scholarships, it's so worthwhile. Um, I guess for the YP program, the same thing, the network of people, they're amazing. And I think when we hear stories of people, um, especially women who have gotten promoted or have that been offered new positions. So we recently got some testimonials from our last Mentor Hawaii cohort. And we asked them, hey, how did this impact you? Um, one woman was offered a position when she was you know, almost ready to pack up her bags and go back to Texas. So to hear that and to know that we're actually making a difference and people are listening and they care, um, I think is really the reason why I work at Scheidler and also why I'm still with the YP program. Thank you for sharing that. In the few minutes that we have left, is there anything else that you would like to add? Uh, nothing in particular other than that. Um, if you have any employees that are in the age, the age bracket of 21 to 39, um, you know, really consider maybe having them know about this program. Uh, again, we have so many programs that are really beneficial. I think the mentorship program is huge. It's our signature program. We have over 30 plus mentor mentee matches now. Um, in addition, it's just a great way for employers to offer something to their employees to really, you know, hone their skill set. So if there's any way that, you know, people want to get involved, um, I would encourage them to come to an event or just check out the website. You can email any one of the steering committee members. We're happy to talk story. And um, the support system is just great. So um, if there's anything we can do to help, happy to assist with that. And also there's plenty of ways to support the YP program as well as a sponsor. Bianca, thank you so much for being on the show today. This has been very enlightening and I always enjoy talking to you. So again, big mahalo for you being on the show today. Thank you, thank you. 
No, thanks to you, Kat. And it was great that we're reconnected again after 10 plus years when I first met you at a YT event. So it, it all comes full circle, right? It all comes full circle. Thank you for that. So again, thank you to Bianca Mordesini, the current YP program chair of the steering committee. Um, she's also the senior director of alumni and external relations at the Scheidler College of Business. And thank you to the folks at Think Tech Hawaii as well for making shows like this possible. Thank you to Jay Fidel, Karen Lee, Mike, who's helping us out today, and Haley. Until next time, aloha. this show, why don't you give us a like or subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much.